I am sure you have seen this peculiar photograph circulating around the internet for quite some time now. Could this possibly be the remains of a UFO? What exactly lies behind this peculiar occurrence? Hi, and welcome to Peculiar Occurrences. I am your host, Lilith Nova. A peculiar occurrence fan? Well, I've opened up a store just for you. So head on over and buy your peculiar occurrence gear today. Links are in the description box below. Thank you. Pictures of the anomaly laying at the bottom of the Baltic Sea has been flying around the internet like wildfire with rumors that this could be the remains of a UFO. The divers exploring this UFO at the bottom of the Baltic Sea says that their equipment stopped working within 200 meters of the anomaly. Professional diver Stefan Hagenborn, part of the Ocean X team which was exploring this anomaly claimed that some of the team's cameras and satellite phones had quit working when they were directly above the anomaly and would only work once they sailed away he was quoted saying the Swedish diving team noted that there was a 985 foot flattened out runway leading up to the round object implying that the craft had skidded along this runway before crashing but no true answers to this are clear member Dennis Asberg said I am 100 percent convinced and confident that we have found something very very unique is it a meteorite or an asteroid or maybe even a volcano or a base from oh say a old u-boat from the Cold War which was manufactured and placed there it has to be something end quote rumors about the Baltic Sea UFO started circulating once the Ocean X team returned from an expedition in the summer of 2011 with one interesting sonar image the group paid a follow-up visit to the site the following year to try to get a better look at the object but due to mysterious electrical interference Ocean X was not able to get a good look at the submerged anomaly expedition leader Peter Lindbergh did claim that they found a second anomaly he stated I confirmed that we have found two anomalies we found the other anomaly approximately 200 meters or about 219 yards from the circular find at the same sonar run. Lindbergh explained why his team had not released the sonar images of the second object. He said, We decided not to expose that image as much because there was too much interference as we passed. So it is very blurry and we can tell that it's something but to an untrained eye it may just look like pea soup. End quote. They claim their picture shows a 60 meter or a 200 foot diameter circular object with features resembling ramps, stairways, and other structures not produced by nature. I'm starting to notice there is something big with this thing in the number 200. It's kind of all through the story. Saying centimeters, feet, yards, 200, 200, 200. It's kind of weird kind of peculiar however neither of these images provided a reliable look at the Baltic Sea anomaly first the Ocean X team used a inexpensive sonar technique called sod scan sonar while well designed to find shipwrecks this technology is not designed to look at the sea floor or at least to give a detailed image of the sea floor Oh, I'm going to butcher this name. Okay, I really am. I'm just going to probably have to write it. Um, 
Uh, according to Han Hanamite, Hanamite Singh, Hanamite, I can't say it here. According to this guy, a researcher with the Woods Hole Oceanography Institute, he doesn't think that the sonar they used was properly calibrated. Because if you look carefully, you can see a reflection of the circular formation on the right side of the image. And since side scan sonar is taken with two instruments that bounce acoustic waves in opposite directions of the boat, a feature on one side should affect the image on the other side. This means you have crosstalk. That's when one electric current is disrupting the other. Or, shall I say, contaminating the other. Or in other words, it means the sonar instruments are not wired properly. According to this professor. He says that's strike one. Then he says strike two is... The black lines going across the sonar images shows that sonar signals were dropping out. That is, the instruments aren't detecting them. Just further calling the measurements into question. And the edges of the image just be on the circles are gray. Meaning the sonar couldn't tell what was there. This shows that the sonar was not calibrated well enough to trust. That's strike three for this researcher. It's only one blurry picture and very little information. Many people speculated that this could be a UFO sitting at the bottom of the Baltic Sea. They even speculated that this could be a portal to another world or a Stonehenge sitting at the bottom. Here's another one I'm going to mispronounce, so I'll probably have to write it here. These, re these theories received even more attention after artist Hayuk Vaget created a 3D interpretation of the mysterious object. After reading an article written on December 10th, 2014, the website Earth We Are One published an article claiming that a UFO shaped like the Millennium Falcon had been found at the bottom of the Baltic Sea. Many people seen the 3D image and took it for a real picture of the Baltic anomaly. Scientists, however, have other theories about what may lie at the bottom of the Baltic Sea. Charles Paul, senior scientist at the Monetary Bay Aquarium Research Institute, said the anomaly is probably just rocks outcropping or the results of gas seeping from the seafloor. Other experts argue that it is merely a glacial deposit. Even Peter Lindbergh, the man behind the discovery, expresses skepticism about the object's more otherworldly origins, stating it's obviously not a UFO, it's not made of metal. Other experts believe that the runway leading to the anomaly is most likely a natural rock formation formed by glacial actions. Jonathan Hill of the Mars Space Flight Facility questioned the motives involved in the Ocean X announcement, which included plans to take wealthy tourists on cruises to the site. He was quoted saying that when people make extraordinary claims, it's always good to look to see how they are going to benefit from those claims, or if it's a truly objective observation. He also suggested that it would have been very simple to just break off a piece and have it tested saying the results showing that it's a rock would not have been beneficial to the Ocean X team. So what do you think about this peculiar occurrence? Do you think it's a UFO or perhaps a rock formation or maybe even something left behind from some ancient civilization? Let me know down in the comments below and while you're down there check my description box to links to my Teespring store for our latest merch. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button that uh, subscribe button and hit that little bell button if you want to know when I upload. And until next time, keep your eyes peeled for all things peculiar. <laughs> peculiar occurrence fan well I've opened up a store just for you so head on over and buy your peculiar occurrence gear today links are in the description box below thank you
Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.